Okay, then moving on to the next presentation, actually it gives me immense pleasure to introduce Dr. Weijing Wang. Uh, he is going to talk uh, about towards over 25% average efficiency of heterojunction solar cell for mass production. He is currently CTO of Huasen. Probably in China, he doesn't need any introduction. But uh, according, uh, uh, in addition to his current position as CTO at the rising star Huasan, in parallel, he also holds several other positions. Uh, one of that is a doctoral uh, supervisor at the Institute of Electrical Engineering at Chinese Academy of Science. And he's also the director of Solar Cell Technology Laboratory. So, Weijing, please, uh, start your presentation okay hello everybody mm, can I oh, okay. okay 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 so, so just just let, just tell me to switch to the next, next page uh, okay yeah so uh because of this older uh, version some some still chinese uh, so I, some some words still chinese but uh, it's okay for for mostly it's, it's okay so today is uh, my topic of my uh, the topic of my presentation was towards twenty five percent mass production of heater junction solar cell. So right now the progress of the heater junction in mass production I called the three generation. The first generation is uh, the the mass production uh, solar cell heater junction up to now is uh, we called a morpho. Uh, a heater junction solar cell. It's uh, because uh, it's a uh, N type, I, I layer, N layer, and the P layer totally is a morpho. Next slash. Okay. And the uh, next will be uh, the heater junction uh, version two. It's uh, the specific is uh, the front side uh, is a uh, uh, non uh, is the n type microcrystalline silicon oxide uh, layer and for the i layer still a morpho but for the back side and also a, a, a morpho silicon p layer so the the next less and uh, finally maybe in after 20 uh, 2024 Maybe a next, the third generation of a heater junction. It's uh, not only in front side is uh, micro crystalline silicon oxide, but also the, for the back side is uh, also nano crystalline silicon P type. So next slash. Next. Yes, according to the, the, the pre previous work, the for the 19. Not, uh, uh, 2019, uh, 2019 uh, according to uh, uh, Professor Xu Xixiang's uh, report, they could, if want to increase the, uh, the, the efficiency and uh, the buffer layer, they, they need to insert buffer layer in, be in between the I layer and the wafer, silicon wafer. For the buffer layer area, there is a more silicon uh, dioxide, silicon dihydrogen. So for the the ratio of silicon uh, silicon di dihydrogen is uh, to the total silicon oxide uh, silicon uh, hydrogen area is we, we can call the R. So the R is uh, larger. So we can call the D. Uh, it meaning is. Uh, Silicon dihydrogen is a higher. The peak of the silicon dihydrogen uh, is is a higher. So we can see for the near, very near the silicon surface, the the buffer layer, this buffer layer, the R is high. Next slash. So uh, for the for the R is a high. There's a more micro well. Inside the uh, inside the amorphous silicon network, but the, if uh, R is a lower, there's a more silicon uh, silicon hydrogen 
is a uh, it meaning is a uh, the the network uh, a morpho network is a condensed is is a dense, so it's a less macro uh, macro well. Next slash. So it's a uh, sorry it's is a. And this new version is is uh, is a is a uh, translate this a Chinese word to to the English, but but this a little bit a little bit uh, old one. So if uh, whether the R is high and R is less is a better or not for the very near the surface silicon surface, if R is high, it meaning it's a more uh, hydrogen inside the uh, an amorphous silicon network. So we we because we need a silicon surface, mm, they need more hydrogen to uh, to passivate the dangling band of the surface. So very near the surface, uh, amorphous uh, silicon sur uh, very near the silicon surface, we need the R is high to more and more leave the the surface to inside the. Mm, a morpho silicon network, the the R, uh, uh, last last one, last one, okay. L last slash, last slash, please. Mm. Uh, yeah. So so uh, inside the uh, in uh, leave out the surface of the silicon uh, silicon surface, uh, go into the uh, a morpho silicon network, the R become a lower. So the dense of the uh, amorphous silicon become a high. So it's a, it's a the, the amorphous net network become the quality of an amorphous network become a better. So they need a different layer to, to, uh, to finish the different purpose. So they need a, a multi-layer of the, of the amorphous silicon. So next slash. So uh, in industry, Chinese uh, industry, according to this uh, this uh, concept, is a, a multi layer of multi I layer and multi P, P layer N layer. So uh, there's a two kind of uh, uh, manufacture tools. One is uh, for one I layer because there are different uh, structure of the I layer. They use a different chamber to deposit the different I layer. But another one is uh, use uh, one chamber to deposit one uh, function layer. So we can call the, the multi-chamber in one layer is a multi-chamber, uh, is one chamber in one layer. So for this, this, this type of the, uh, structure of uh, tools, they, they, they use the space change to the time. So they use to need a more chamber, the capex is high, the temporal time is sparse, the process limited, and the increased automation. And for the, the, this kind of structure, you use a time to, to change to space. You use a less chamber, the capex is low, but the temporal time is low, and the uh, process flexible uh, and uh, less automation. And next slash. So this is a, a chamber structure. Such as microwave, uh, microwave, uh, the company microwave, they use IINP because it uses different, uh, more multi chamber for one layer. So it's a, uh, it's uh, uh, a, lot, uh, the, cap, uh, ca the capacity is higher. So it's uh, arrived to 8,000 WPH. Next slash. Next slash. Next, okay. Uh, ne next slash. Can you hear me? Min, are you online? Ne ne next, next slash. Okay.
So it's a, it's a, it's a. Uh, Doctor Wang, please wait a minute. I just uh, uh, lost the connection. One minute. Okay. Yeah, please, please wait a minute. So, Yeah, okay. Can you see the new slide? So, okay, so we, we continue. So according to this uh, uh, manufactured tools, we make a uh, uh, 500 production line for heat rejection solar cell. So up to now, the average efficiency for our uh, best production is 98%. Mm, uh, not, not, not average, it's a yield. It's a yield, it's a 98%. Uh, something around that. And the champion shell from the mass production is in keep increase. Up to now, the highest efficiency it just in mass production, not to any new design for the champion shell is arrived 25.18%. And the, the weak uh, max of, uh, the, uh, of a product production, the Efficiency distribution, something like this, is uh, average around 24.4%. It's a, this, uh, this, uh, data, uh, this data coming from the week of no, the first week of November. Next slash. And the, here is, uh, is uh, the average efficiency of our mass production, it's uh, around 24%. Four uh, percent. The the champion cell is uh, the data of from the uh, of our champion uh, mass production. The champion cell is something like this. It's twenty five point one nine percent. And in the lab, the highest efficiency is a twenty five point two two six percent. Is verified by the ISFH. The so next slide. So the for, for the for the uh, the module we also make a, a chamber module the for the 166 um, uh, 62 uh, type this kind of a mass uh, this can kind of a, a module uh, the highest uh, uh, power is a 486 per uh, volt if compared to the perk mass production heat junction and the chamber is for the this is for the uh, per cell average for this kind of a mm, module is a 450% uh, for double side uh, double uh, glass. And uh, for heat junction mass production, the module average module is a uh, 465% uh, volt to the 475 volt. Uh, this work, uh, this um, uh, chamber module is a 486. Uh, next slash. And uh, the problem is uh, for, for the for the uh, heater junction is a uh, is a CTM is uh, lower than the perk. We can see the for the if uh, for heater junction solar cell the efficiency if the efficiency is uh, lower the CTM is uh, quite high it's almost one hundred percent. But uh, increase when we increase the efficiency the CTM will be lost such as drop to the 20, uh, 98.5 or something like that. If we further increase the efficiency of a cell, the, the, the CTM will be further decreased, something around the 90, uh, 80, 98%. This is one big problem. The problem may be coming from is the 
is a few reasons. One is the standard cell and module is confused. At the beginning, the standard module and the cell also the, the confused. So it's a, a, a cause this problem. And the second is a tiger uh, finger resistance because uh, for so, uh, heater junction, the finger resistance is, is quite high. So it caused this problem. So we, we use it, increase the bus bar and increase the finger section uh, area. Maybe we can reduce this uh, finger resistance. And also the one problem is a dark de degradation for, for heater junction solar cell. And also the heat degradation, when we use a module, use a elimination, this 100, uh, 150 degree, this uh, efficiency will be a little bit uh, decrease uh, because of uh, uh, heat uh, process. And also the high cutting loss for heater junction solar cell and the edge uh, without ITO because of for the P-type, you have to make an edge. This area, there's no ITO. They were dropped uh, the efficiency. Next slash. But yes, we, we want to uh, keep increase the CT, CTM and, uh, for, the, for our heater junction stuff. So we, we can use the, uh, uh, right now it's, a, it's a something like that. And the re, if we recover the, the degradation and use a parallel bus bar or a super bus bar, and also increase a little bit and decrease the cutting loss, further decrease the cutting loss and increase the wafer quality and improve the uniformity. And also all of these process can increase the CTM. Next slash. So the uh, problem two is a loss of the cutting, cutting, when we cut into the two half, there were some uh, losses will be higher than the, than the pork cell. The reason of this loss, one is uh, the edge, uh, uh, edge something. The second is the non-uniformity of the cell and the preservation damage of the cutting edge. The next slash. So we, we can observe the, the, this kind of a solar cell when we cutting of the surf, uh, of the uh, wafer, heat junction wafer. When we for the higher efficiency of a uh, heat junction solar cell, the cutting loss is higher. So, so we we can see from this. So next slash. So next slash. Next, yeah. According to the to the to the this work, they say. If for the, for the P type, if the ITO is too much nearer the outer edge, there will be shunting, something like this, this can't, and this can't, all of this is a shunting. So we, 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 next slash. So something, this work is uh, if uh, the ITO very near the edge, there will be uh, the efficiency will be dropped to maybe 10%. But if there is a, 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 such a half a millimeter uh, edge, maybe will be, re, re, uh, will be recover this, uh, this uh, shunting. Uh, next slash. But when we cutting up the wafer to the two half, the, for the edge, uh, because of the whole wafer in the P-type here, we already leave the edge, the space, between the ITO edge to the, to the uh, wafer edge. But when we cut in, the ITO is all very near the, the edge of the cutting. So uh, there here will be the result to shunting. So this is the one of the reason for the, for the higher uh, cutting loss for heater junction solar cell. Next slash. So the other problem is the uniformity because when we make a solar cell, we sorting it. So it's a one, uh, one, almost one kind of the wave, uh, the efficiency in one block. But when you cut into the two half, we, we observe the, for the, uh, this, uh, this uh, for the uh, uh, lifetime, uh, is uh, for the half cell, uh, for the uh, whole, for the whole cell. But when we cut into the two half, the two uh, the 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 uh, the efficiency uh, the lifetime dropped 
to the different type of um, different kind of a uh, drop. So the wave, uh, the, the, the lifetime become a non-uniformity for two half. So after this, uh, uh, after they make a way, uh, make a module, they will um, drop the, uh, the efficiency. We will drop the power. Next slash. So the three pro the third problem is a duct de degradation. Ne next slash. So we, we observe we put the uh, for the put the wafer in the atmosphere for the different time. So we observe the efficiency decrease uh, uh, gradually, but uh, at the same time the efficiency uh, the uh, the fear factor were also the drop drop down. But uh, for the VOC and the uh, current, it's not so um, regular. So drop down and recover. And here and for the for the current, it's also uh, drop down firstly and recover later. But uh, for the pure factor, will be dropped at uh, the, the same reason. Next slide. But the deducted degradation can recover. For the, this uh, origin at the beginning, we, we test the uh, uh, solar cell like the efficiency is like this. And after that, after 30, uh, 30 days uh, um, placing on the, on the uh, atmosphere, they drop the efficiency to, to this. But uh, after signal time, um, the light, uh, light, uh, it's, a, it's LETP. It's a three uh, after uh, LETP. The second time LETP, the the efficiency will recover. So this is this is not a so serious problem for this double degradation. So next slash. So we we uh, uh, there is a uh, calculator another kind of a, another uh, many uh, research. We, uh, we get a result, we, we get a reason, a mechanism of dark degradation and the recover. We think about uh, there is a oxygen go into, goes through the ITO <clears throat> into the amorphous silicon layer to form the silicon, the amorphous silicon oxide. These were increased the resistance. So they were uh, make a uh, decrease the efficiency. Next slash. So next, uh, next slide, we, we will talk about the, the, the uh, version two, the, uh, the generation two of a heat ejection solar cell for, for this kind of uh, amorphous uh, microcrystalline silicon oxide. Next slide. So uh, because uh, uh, after 19, uh, after 2019, after the the uh, the, the energy report, uh, this kind of uh, efficiency and the and the reason of uh, this uh, get this efficiency in China, they use this kind of uh, amorphous silicon oxide, amorphous silicon uh, uh, silicon uh, layer to to make a solar cell. The uh, the the efficiency in lab increase very fast. After now, already to arrive 26%, 26.3%. Uh, All of this is uh, used uh, amorphous uh, macro, uh, macrocrystalline silicon or macrocrystalline silicon oxide to use the window layer to make uh, more uh, light go inside. So next slide. Hello, Weijing. Uh, you might have to make it fast because uh, okay. you know, so it's, it's already... Uh, Okay, so okay. It's, it's almost, so okay. here's yeah. the data. Next, yeah. next, next slide. Okay, so in, in the next year in China, at least two company will be uh, introduced uh, microcrystallized silicon in the mass product production. So we hope they can arrive 25% uh, of mass production efficiency. Next slide. But there's another problem. So there's some technical detail. It's a, we were not time to, no time to, uh, to describe this. 
So here's the summary. So we, we want to see, we not only to make a solar cell, but we also to make a focus on the uh, uh, under the under degradation, different degradation, a dark degradation, LID, UVID, especially we 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 find it UV ETID, UV at, uh, ID. So here is a, maybe we we were um, to to stop this kind of problem. Okay, so that's all. Oh, here is a, some some uh, some our uh, um, products. Here is a. Uh, nine bus bar, uh, 12 bus bar, and next year for two gigawatt is uh, uh, half a wave, half a wafer, and then make a solar cell is a tw 210 uh, uh, time 105 millimeter. And next is less. Oh, here's the module, uh, M6 module. Next is less. And here's a uh, M. 14 half cell Himalaya bifacial module. Okay. Oh, here's uh, our contact. Welcome you to 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 visit or to discuss something or buy the um, our module <laughs> or also buy the, our solar cell. We also uh, want uh, want to to sell the uh, uh, solar cell and the module. Okay.